Right now on Oahu, a father and son are suing the city and county of Honolulu and unnamed Honolulu police officers for what they claim is use of excessive and deadly force, claiming they were innocent bystanders caught in the middle of the New Year's Day manhunt and shootout, killing Sydney Tafukitao. We do want to warn you, some of these images may be disturbing. We're thankful that no members of the public were injured. That was Honolulu Police Chief Joe Logan during Wednesday afternoon's police commission meeting talking about the January 1st incident. But 25-year-old Devita Cariente says he was injured that day and claims police brutality. There was never any apologies, never any public pronouncement of um, their, their innocence or lack of involvement in this case. Cariente and his 49-year-old father, Va'u Kehekehe Mata'ele, alleged they were heading from their home towards a scene on University Avenue after seeing the police chase and hearing gunshots. The lawsuit says they knew Tafoki Town through church and the Tongan community and were hoping to convince him to stop shooting and surrender. Their attorney says two plainclothes officers came out of a white Honda pointing firearms at Cariente. He went back, uh, to Vita that is, approximately 10 yards, and another vehicle, another apparently Honolulu police vehicle, came over and uses deadly lethal force and tries to run him over um, uh, recklessly and pinned him against the chain link fence. And as I indicated in the complaint, or alluded to, had that chain link fence not given way, um, we, don't, we don't think he'd be alive today. The lawsuit claims officers then pulled Cariente out from under the police van and pummeled him with what appeared to be the butt end of their rifles and batons. Broken bones to his face, uh, the injuries to his knees when he was run over by the HPD vehicle um, remain to be diagnosed. It appears that it is likely he has suffered ACL tears in one or both knees. Uh, he had severe lacerations, potentially some neurological damage. Um, concussion, uh, blurred vision still. We reached out to HPD on Wednesday. A spokesperson declined to comment, citing the pending litigation. But Chief Logan did address it in the police commission meeting. Yeah, well, I don't know who the lawsuit is yeah. to. Is it to HPD? Is it to the city? Uh, and who is... Uh, so that's part of what we need to understand. Right. right. Do we understand that uh, if something happened? We need to, you know, we, we don't know what we don't know, so I can't go down the road of trying, trying to comment on something. I, I'm not sure what the allegations are.